Winter weather has finally left North Texas. I think we're finally done for the season as far as all of this annoying uh, wintry mix and the, the freezing temperatures and all those kind of things. I think, I think we're done. And, of course, we're getting into spring weather in North Texas, which good news means warmer weather, but bad news sometimes it does mean severe weather. So let's get into uh, the forecast right after we talk about KTX Transport. Of course, they are our sponsor for this segment. I just talked to DJ a few minutes ago, and he wanted me to highlight a couple of things. First, uh, that of course their website looks fantastic. If you didn't take my word for it in the last segment, if you will go and uh, check them out now, then uh, they are, the website looks great. Uh, it's a great way to learn more about their company, but also get in touch with them and uh, get a, a quote on services or join their team, whatever the case might be. And that's the second point is you can join their team. If you own your own truck and you want to operate with KTX Transport as an owner operator, get in touch with DJ. He would like to have a conversation with you and see if that's something that you may be a good fit for. So go to shipktx.com or go follow their Facebook page, send a message there. Either way, you're going to get a chance to talk to DJ about working with KTX Transport. I've talked many times about how logistics is a tough business right now and uh, keeping things moving is very, very important to our economy. And what can you say about a company that is uh, working all over the world and benefiting Ellis County right here at home. So again, that's shipktx.com or follow them on their Facebook page. Now let's talk about this forecast a little bit because I've got a few things I need to go over with you. The first thing is tomorrow, Monday, we're looking at about a 30 to 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Now that's probably, honestly, since I worked on it, that's probably gone up. We're probably looking at 40 to 50% at least at this point. The closer we get to this event, the chance for rain has kind of been trickling upward. The other thing that's been going upward is the chance for severe weather to be involved with this as well. What we're looking at is a cold front and a dry line are going to be coming in from the west. It does look like we'll have a, uh, a possibly a broken line of showers and thunderstorms develop along the leading edge of that. As that moves in, it does look like we could be seeing some strong to severe storms along that. It's a little tough to know at this moment if, when it gets to our area, if we're going to be looking at individual storms or a linear system, right? That solid line, kind of that squall line coming through. Different models have different takes on it. We'll have to kind of see what their consensus is over the next, you know, 12, 16, 18 hours. And uh, it does look like right around this time tomorrow, right around 8 o'clock, is when we're probably going to be looking at those uh, possibly moving into our area. Could be a little bit earlier, could be a little bit later. The good news is it doesn't look like this is going to be a late night storm. That is good news for me because I have been so tired of staying up late and getting up early for these storms. So it does look like it will be uh, you know, later in the evening, but not late, late at night. So highs tomorrow are going to be in the low 70s. Much nicer, right? Today was a beautiful day. Tomorrow looks like most of our shower and thunderstorm activity is going to be in the evening. So during the day, mostly sunny to partly uh, sunny skies. Highs in the low 70s. It will be windy again tomorrow. And then, of course, tomorrow night, showers and thunderstorms. The cold front does come through. Now, this is not the kind of cold front we've seen recently where it's bringing in all this Arctic air. Temperatures are not going to change a lot. Tomorrow, uh, we're in the, upper, in the low 70s. Tomorrow night, we're in the mid-40s for lows. Tuesday, upper 60s. And it's going to be windy again. So, tomorrow will be windy from the south, bringing in all that Gulf moisture. The cold front comes through. Tuesday, it's windy from the north. So it could be kind of a chilly wind tomorrow on Tuesday. We're going to be in the upper 60s, or uh, in two days on Tuesday. We'll be in the upper 60s, but uh, it could still be a little bit uh, chilly out there, a little bit of a cool breeze if you're not in the sunlight. So just be prepared for that. Tuesday night, we're in the mid-40s. Wednesday, back up into the upper 70s with windy conditions. Winds, again, from the south. We're just kind of going back and forth here, right? So winds from the south, we're in the mid-70s. Overnight Wednesday, low 50s, so even the lows are warming up a little bit. Thursday, we have another chance for showers and thunderstorms. It looked like this could be another uh, another kind of afternoon, evening event as well. 
I don't have a whole lot on whether that's going to mean severe weather, but I do know that we have a pretty good chance of getting some rain on Thursday. So if anything, maybe that can help some of the, uh, the drought conditions. We're still under severe drought conditions in North Texas, specifically here in Ellis County. Thursday is going to be windy again, just a windy week in North Texas. Highs will be in the upper 70s, but lows will be back down in the mid to upper 40s with that cold front coming through, cooling things down a little bit. Friday, we're right around 70 degrees, partly sunny skies. And then overnight Friday, 45 degrees, right around the mid-40s for your lows. So kind of an eventful week, right? It's, it's going to be springtime weather with everything spring means. We'll get some rain, possibly some severe weather, sunshine, 60s and 70s. This is what we've been waiting for, folks. This is exactly the kind of week. Stay tuned for more information on the possible severe weather event moving in for Monday. We're going to have to keep an eye on that because my gut is telling me and kind of all the things we've been seeing today, we've had close calls recently where we kept missing and missing and missing. I think this might be our first real severe weather event. And uh, let me just note that we're looking at another damaging, a damaging wind, a large hail event. There is a low end tornado threat. It's a little unclear exactly where that tornado threat is going to materialize. Most of that right now looks to be our northeast, but... I'm still keeping that in the forecast for our area that we need to at least keep a little bit of an eye out for some rotation in those storms. Make sure you're following EllisCountyWeather.com. You can put that on the home screen of your iPhone or your iPad and have it right there accessible like just like an app. It doesn't It's not an app itself. It's still going to take you to your browser, but you can put it right there where it's accessible right there on that home screen. Make sure you're following on YouTube and Facebook as well for the latest content and updates. Uh, there and be prepared tomorrow night. We could have live coverage of severe weather here in Ellis County.